Oh, hello everyone, it's me, Pink Ink. What a surprise. I thought it'd be cool to make a little uh, behind the scenes video on this animation slash stop motion animatic thing I made. Of course, if you haven't watched this video already, I 100% like think you should check it out. Because for one, you would like, if you watch this video first, it might spoil kind of that animation I made. And two, I think it'd be better to watch that first and then come back to see how it was made. So yeah, if you haven't watched it, go watch it now. Anyways, now to start. So first I cleaned my desk to not have any Thing in the way, well, mostly cleaned it. And I went to my sketchbook to start uh, doing some storyboards. I don't always need storyboards for my animations, but <laughs> this one was different. If I didn't have a plan, I might have made a lot of mess ups. I've been hoarding some cardboard just for a specific occasion, so I took some beloved cereal and just took the box. So then I chose one out of my bajillion pencils to start drawing on the cardboard. Ah, you can barely see. Okay, I made his neck longer than it should be on purpose. So um, when I cut it all out, I can like kind of put his head a little lower than it is on the drawing. Cause I don't know, I've never done this before. Um, and this cardboard is not uh, really transparent. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I started trying to organize all the scraps to like the more stuff I needed so it wouldn't get like unorganized. So I do a sketch and then do line art and then I'd cut it out. For some reason I cut it out and then did liner. I don't know. I didn't have a strict order of doing things. Then I tried this feature on CapCut that can take away the background and I just put like the little green background and it seemed to work. I've never really played around with this feature before and I feel like if it works then it would be a big help. It was kind of finicky so I was kind of just playing around with how this worked. Then I realized it didn't always work every time when I press kind of like the automatic like take out the background button. So I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a problem. Because when I try to like take out uh, the background by myself, there's like these pixely lines and I wasn't really satisfied with that. Cause it didn't work every time, even though it was similar images, I was kind of confused. I did a little test animation though, and I thought it was looking pretty cool. So that was a good motivator for me to continue working on the animation. Then I really got the ball rolling with this project. So then I started moving on to more scenes and also just tried to make some, I guess, little cutouts for some of the characters' faces. It was kind of hard because it, like, you know, the cardboard's not really transparent, so I'm like, uh, I'm gonna have to eyeball this one. Then with editing, I found this weird feature that I didn't know existed. You can play around with some of these images and just make them do stuff. And I'm like, huh, that's funny. I didn't end up using any of those features though, but it's good to know that's there, I guess. Then I started making some extra parts for like some of the, I guess, models, I guess. And then I was starting to collect a mess. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, by the way. Then I was having some fun editing. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> what the heck? Anyways. <laughs> Instead of drawing everything and then taking a picture of it and then editing it, I would draw it, take pictures, and then edit and then kind of repeat because, I don't know, it kind of just made me happy to see it all coming together and it kind of just motivated me even more to like continue. Because, you know, it's looking good so far, so why don't I make it look even better? And then for this scene here in the animation, I don't know what was going through my head, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just slap a stick to it. I found a spoon, that was the first thing I found. I was gonna do a stick originally, but I'm like, you know what, why would look for a stick if I have a spoon? Man, this was such a weird project to make. I don't know what was going through my head. But like, you know what? Let me just put this to the wall, or not, not the wall, but stick it to my lamp so like there could still be light or something. I don't know why I didn't just stick it to the wall. You know what, the, the lamp is better apparently. My hands were so gosh dang shaky. I don't know why. I could have easily like placed the spoon onto something, but no, I just I just wanted the shakiness, I guess. Like I was making Sino tremble. <laughs> Little side note, I really like how I drew Sylvester there. He seems so content with himself. I made it before that. I'm done with my spoon. I'm gonna put it back in my everything drawer. I kind of want to show you how I was kind of like doing things. Um, this was actually the only scene I used this little like 
I don't know, I think it's for your teeth. I don't know. I mostly just used my hands, but sometimes they would just shake too much, so I'd use that little, like, item there, so yeah. Then for this next scene, I wanted to try to make, like, something more traditionally animated. Kind of like how those old cartoons were made on paper. So I figured I should probably use my little light tablet table, I don't know what it's called, thingy, so I can try to see through these, like, kind of more, uh grayish slash brown paper. To be honest, I kind of forgot I had this light pad, but thank goodness I never threw it away because I actually used it. Which of course you could probably just use a tablet or a phone and just put it on a white screen and just use that, but I don't know, I use the light table for some reason. I like to hoard things, so I just had this, like, I don't know, bag. And I don't know, the consistency of the bag felt lighter than, like, the cereal box. So, in my head, I thought it was gonna, like, be able to see through when you put it on, the, like, the light table thingy. So, I kind of just cut, like, a small piece. Like, it was small, but big enough to draw something on. But then I really struggled taking this thing off. I could have just used the rest of the bag, because that bag was huge. But apparently, I'm like, nope, I'm not wasting nothing. Then I try to turn off the lights to test to see if I can actually see through this or if I will have to try to do something else. I had no idea what to do because that was not see-through at all. Then I had this other more brown paper that felt pretty light and then I tried it. I just need more of this paper. Okay, gotta go downstairs. This is such a freaking mess. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's just test to see if this will work. So let's say I draw a circle, yeah? Circle. I do this. Can't I kinda see it. Um, let's say I do this. It's got black. That'll be more visible. Oh, that's not the correct way. Mm. It's kind of visible, kind of. Mm. I'll figure it out. I indeed just figured it out. I just realized I just need to get really close to the paper. Gotta use my reference. See. So I kind of just chilled with the light on uh, and just started drawing and then when it came time to like draw the other frame, I kind of just turned off all the lights. I don't know why I'm torturing myself by doing this on paper, I can easily just do it digitally. But you know what? I'm taking the challenge. Editing pink ink here by the way. If I'm re-watching this video and I, this clip, it, it's just a whole clip with nothing. I'm not talking or anything. I don't know why I left this in here. <laughs> So, uh, I don't even know. Anyways, sorry this video is a bit jumbled and the segues are a little off. When I was recording all these clips, I did not think about editing. I was focused on the project at hand. So, I'm kind of struggling, like, segueing, like, all of the extra bits. Still hope you're enjoying this botched video. I have no idea why I left the light table tablet thingy on. <laughs> I didn't need it to be on. I was just wasting it. But whatever, this whole time I was just trying to, like, do line art uh, for Sylvester. And honestly, I think the first frame just looks the best because I put the more like most time into sketching it and all the other ones I'm like screw it let's just get this done but yeah in the future I would love to make more stuff about Sino and Sylvester and just their story why the heck am I drinking water water's bad for you <laughs> just kidding drink water anywho I am actually working on like a video hopefully will be posted soon I don't know when it will be but I'm trying to work on a video kind of talking about uh, both of those characters because I'm kind of separating like everyone's I guess backstory into parts like the whole story Let's say it's a puzzle piece I'm like kind of destroying the puzzle piece and then I'm kind of like separately telling you each puzzle of the piece pizza pizza what the heck you know what i mean right <laughs> but yeah i don't know when that'll come out though because i'm kind of working on multiple videos at a time but yeah anyways i was done doing the line art for sylvester and now to see if it actually works okay now for the test oh god here we go here we go why is this so good at blocking out light okay what if i do this 
Okay. Okay. It's kind of working. I just have to get really close. I put way too much work into this scene. I put like a little kind of reference area to know where to line up at like each frame once I cut it out. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. This was really hard because even though it was like still slightly see-through, it was slightly see-through, you know? So when I put the paper on top of the like little table, I was just being blinded the whole time. I'm like, oh my god, why am I torturing myself with this? Okay, these all kind of look... Eh. I would say this frame looks the best. <laughs> what happened to Sylvester? It's okay, um... I don't know what I'm doing. So once I was all done with all the frames, I kind of just cut more closely. So I, I don't know, I just didn't want it to be a big block. Then I was finally done so I could take pictures of all of them now and I just thought it looked really cool. It was like Pokemon cards or something. So then I would proceed to put it on the stand and take pictures of all of them. Okay, the, the cereal box is dead. Um, moving on to cardboard slash, I don't know, bag. <laughs> I can barely freaking see my own drawing. I have to go like this close to even see what I'm drawing. Because I can't draw like this because like there's nothing in the back to hold it. So I have to just blindly draw the whole time. You can see it much better now. Like, oh my gosh. Like... <laughs> You can see the black way better than the pencil. This project was very much all over the place. Even just editing this video is hard because there was no organization at all. Like I did have a certain like little algorithm I guess I was following. I would focus on each scene in the order that I wanted them to be in in the video. This is random but I used this little tote bag thingy that I painted Ozzy and Cloud Guy on for one of the backgrounds. I kind of just turned it around and used it because I'm like I didn't really want to use the same gray color for this scene but I didn't want to use straight up white so I used this just I don't even know what it was. More, I guess, skin color, peachy color. I don't know colors. And then I wanted to move on to the scene that was like a whole background that I imagined in my head. I used a lot of references. And here are some of the references I used because there is no way I can just come up with this because I do not draw backgrounds, I draw people. And I decided to just go straight in with line art instead of doing a whole sketch. Because, you know, I like drawing people, I don't like drawing backgrounds, so I didn't want to do a sketch and then go over it all with line art because I feel like backgrounds are more detailed and I'm just like, ah, I don't want to do that. So I just went straight in for line art because it would be faster that way. And I wanted to split up the background into three parts like two of the parts would be the foreground um this little i don't even know what this is called and then like the other clock thing and then the main i guess background we've gotten another box hopefully it's the same brown color as that cardboard box it seems about right yeah it's like the same color wow well, wasn't that a smooth transition? I honestly just recorded whatever. When I was doing this project, I did not think about poor editing me. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I finished with the background. Anyways, um, this is me just trying to put my camera on the little camera stand and like fixing it up to take little like uh, pictures. Almost done with the project. Did that. All that. And all that. Just gotta do these two scenes and I don't think they're gonna move at all so I just need to do two drawings yeah <laughs> I'm about to be done and then I'm gonna torture myself with editing I feel like editing the video right now so I'm just gonna clean my desk and skip oh my god instead procrastinate while doing something else yeah anyways i did eventually get to the editing but oh wow this was so much fun i did edit a little bit while i was like doing all the cutouts but just a little bit because i actually um had to edit it twice the first time was to put all the pictures together and then i saved it and then d like opened another i guess uh i don't know canvas it's not a canvas that's digital art <laughs> another project there we go and did all the other special effects and fun fact i got all those images that were in the final product from pinterest which that does mean i have no idea where the original uh pictures are from but Ooh, whoopsies but oh my goodness every time i make a new animation i listen to the audio that's in the animation so many times <laughs> it's not even funny i was done with editing it for the first time and then i opened a new project and then edited it again and i realized i accidentally made it in this format instead of the normal youtube format like this is how it was originally you see how there's space and like it doesn't cover the full screen 
Um, so I had to make it in the normal way. Uh, so now you see it covers the whole screen. Which that was kind of like a happy accident because for some reason I just didn't like how close it was to the screen. Like all the images. It just kind of looked blurry and I just didn't like it. So I got to put it a little bit farther away from like I guess the viewer. And also I could add all those fun little details in the background. And fun little fact this project took about three days. Honestly less than three days. Because I started it like in the afternoon on the first day. Then I didn't even do it, like work on it the whole day, like the second day, because I wasn't home for the majority of the day. Wow, I'm saying day a lot, it's kind of annoying. And then the third day, I finished it, um, like, I finished it around 12 p.m. I don't know, my motivation uh, was just so high to finish this. So yeah, and there's also a ton of other songs that I have in mind for Sylvester and Sino. Because yeah, it's I'm officially saying it, they're brothers. Man, I really need to make a video about that. Kind of just lore dumping about that. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Might take forever for it to come out, but I'm working on it. I feel like it's funny because like, my friend that was on my stream with me, I don't know if you guys were there for the stream. Like, this makes this animation makes sense for me and her because we know the story. But you guys don't know the story yet, so I'm just like, wow, okay. But yeah, anyways, to some of the materials I used for the project, um, it's just cardboard boxes. I use specifically a cardboard, a cardboard cereal, cereal box, oh my god. I use a cereal box, a uh, toaster strudel box, <laughs> a cardboard bag thingy from the vans, I, I think, I don't know. Basically a lot of cardboard. And I used a thin line art pen. I think the thinner ones are better for this because if you hold out, like down the pen on the cardboard for too long, it starts to bleed a little bit. So yeah, and I used a normal pencil. Then I used a camera stand for some of the scenes. And then some of the scenes, I also used my shelf that I have in my room uh, to hold my tablet to take the pictures. And then, you know, for editing, I just used CapCut. So yeah, but I was finally done and I finally got to save it. Oh my gosh, I was so happy. So yeah, but if you guys have any other questions that I did didn't really answer or if something that you just want to know let me know i'll be happy to answer so yeah but hopefully i'm not forgetting anything because it is the end of this video so i hope you have a good rest of your day so bye i am starving right now <laughs> my family is ordering i think chilies and i'm going to eat soon so yippee even though i don't really want chilies but it's okay i feel like it's funny that i started this channel with the amy's adventure into the unknown but now it's just everything is the taylor jesse stuff now i'm like wow okay that's <laughs> different.